Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some fashion reps that my friends bought me that I thought were pretty cool. Uh, one of them is uh, really interesting and unique. And the other one looks like a pretty good uh, recreation. And they're really cool pieces. So yeah, I thought this would be a pretty interesting video to make. And I'll show you guys a comparison of some of the pieces that I got from the same collection. And I just wanted to say that I'm usually not big on wearing fashion reps, but I really like the way that uh, this Riot Bomber looked. So I thought it was a really cool video to make just to show you guys like how like kind of real it looks compared to the actual pieces. And since I have some actual pieces from Raph's Riot collection, I can kind of compare them to see how the patches look. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing real quick. I'm wearing my friend's brand, Thunder Constructions, and this hoodie is really sick. The design is really cool. And I just wanted to shout them out to support them on this video. So yeah, this first piece is based off of a, a white bomber from Raph's 2003 Consume Collection. And the Consumer Collection is actually one of Raph's more popular collections. And the graphics from this bomber are actually were made from a Belgium artist named Peter de Potter, who designed graphics for Raph's uh, Spring and Summer 2002 collection and his 2003 collection. And he actually made the print artwork around 15 years ago. So this piece is very iconic. Well, the piece that this is based off of it's a really iconic piece and it's a, a very sought after piece along with uh, different uh, pieces like the Penelope tree hoodies and the graphic button up. Also the harness with pouches and also the very rare parachute bomber. So I actually wanted to read a quote from the artist Peter de Potter on this piece. So the quote, he states, I know and understand that pieces like this have taken on a new and or iconic meaning for a new generation, which is almost a natural side effect of time fleeting or speeding up. It's a good thing that people even care to remember. But what I recall mostly is the feeling of being on a mission. That was the feeling that we all had. It wasn't so much about being liked. It was about being understood. Dates change, but human nature luckily doesn't. So this particular feeling is still a universal one and will always be. And actually a fun fact about this piece was that it wasn't done on a computer at all. It was actually a huge paper on paper work of a few meters that was sent as such to a printing plant. So this replica itself is made by a Japanese company and Japanese really love Raph Simmons. A lot of the collectors of uh, rare Raph Simmons archive pieces are Japanese. So uh, the overall look of this bomber is uh, kind of spot on. It just has like uh, some references that are off and stuff. Um, you can obviously tell it looks uh, really different from the real bomber. but I'll show you what the real bomber looks like in the video. But the overall layout is here. There are just some references that are like uh, different. And I'll show you the backside of what it looks like here. But as you can see, it looks uh, pretty spot on. But as you can see here, the, the layout is pretty much the same is a real one but you can still tell that uh, this is a obvious replica but it's pretty cool it looks really unique for what it is and the next piece actually looks more like the actual piece itself and of course in the video I'll show you guys what the actual pieces look like just as a reference and to compare 
Okay, so this is the next replica and this one looks more like the actual bomber itself. And there were actually some different brands that made uh, replicas that look different because they have different references. Like there was a brand called Rough Simmons that has made a bomber with the uh, same patch layout and everything, but they have uh, different references like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on the patches, or they have another one that has Akira references. And this one is pretty much just like a, a one for one replica of the actual bomber itself. And you can see the patches are pretty good quality here. And I'll show you a comparison of what my other patch pieces look like because I have a uh, real patch pieces from the same collection, the Riot 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 collection. So I can show you what the other patches look like on my other pieces as a comparison. But this bomber looks pretty good. And you know, like the bomber itself is so expensive. It's, I believe it's going for $47,000, which is an insane price. So I thought this was pretty cool. This is like a handmade garment. So they put a lot of time and work into this. And then I'll show you, it has a Fostex tag as well too. Let me see if I can open this. And then here's the Fostex tag. Let me see if I can open it up. Yeah, here's the Fostex tag. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And then I'll show you the back side of the bomber. Because there are more patches on the back. Here's the Richie Edwards patch. And then here's the Monte Cazaza patch, which is, this one is off. He has a bulbous nose here, which on the real one, it doesn't have it like that, but I'll show you what the real one looks like. But it's pretty decent. The distressing on the patches is okay. I think over time, it'll eventually wear out and it'll look more like the actual piece itself. But so far, it looks pretty good though. These patches are pretty well made. And now I'll show you my other Riot, Riot, Riot patched pieces. So here is one of the crew necks, the distressed crew necks. And you can see the patches are like wrinkled and faded. There's a Joy Division patch. And I'll show you what the patch on this one looks like. So they look pretty good. Here are some other ones. And then the back side has more patches. And then here's the Monte Cazaza patch. You see his nose is regular on here. And then on this one, it's more round. So yeah, it just looks a little off on some of the patches. Here is this patch. Sonic Youth patch. I think that's on here too. Let me see if I'll grab that. Here is it on the bomber. And then this is on the actual patched crew neck. And then also here is my other green crew neck. This one, it has a patch from the movie Christian F. And then here's the same patch on the bomber. And then this patch. And then it has a David Bowie patch. Yeah, these these pieces are really cool. It's my favorite collection. 
Here's the Japan patch, what it looks like on the real one. And then here is what it looks like on the bomber. Pretty good. Here are some more patches. The Sonic Youth patch. This one has a black flag patch. Really cool. And then Manic Street Preachers. And here is the last patched piece that I have. Here's another Monte Kazaza patch. And then here's the David Bowie patch. This is what it looks like on the real garment. And then here's what it looks like on the replica. It looks really good. Public image LTD patch. And then here is Richie Edwards from the Manic Street Preachers. And then I'll show you what it looks like compared to the bomber one. And you can see how it looks. This looks pretty good. That's when he carved for real into his arm during an interview. And then I'll flip it on the back. It has more patches on the back too. Here's another David Bowie patch. And here's the patch on the real one. And I'll show you what it looks like compared to what it looks like on the bomber. And here's what it looks like on the bomber. So just a little bit off. Here's a David Bowie patch. And then here's the final patch. The Mission of Burma final concert. And I could show you what it looks like on the bomber. So here's what it looks like on the bomber. It looks pretty good. So kind of like a little side by side, I guess. So the patches look pretty good. So this is a pretty good recreation. They even have the season tag on here, which is really nice. This is a really good handmade replica. I thought it was really interesting, especially if you don't want to pay $47,000 for the real one itself. And this jacket was really famous from people like Kanye West wearing it and Travis Scott also wore it. So did Rihanna as well too. I can put up some images of them wearing the bomber jacket. And there was like another iteration, which is a green version that had different patches on it that uh, Drake wore and also Kanye West and Kim Kardashian wore that one too. So yeah, I mean, maybe I think they have a, they have a replica of that one too. And then, Maybe if my friend gets that one, then I can make a video on it and see how it looks. But it's also another handmade garment too, so it's probably really good as well. And then here is the zippers. So yeah, I think it's really cool. It's a really nice replica overall. So that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I hope you guys have a nice day, and peace out.